apologise to meet him just over one side. <laughs> Good, thanks, you. Good. Afternoon, everybody. Um, delighted to be joined by our acting head coach, Ryan Mason. Uh, we will start with the broadcast section with no embargo, followed by an embargoed section. There's always no live tweeting during the broadcast section. Our phones in silent, please. Paul. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Ryan, how do you process what's happened in the last few days and just talk us through how it all came about from your perspective? Yeah, relatively easy from my point of view. Um, naturally, I feel comfortable, so it's just part of part of being involved in in football, I guess. Um, have to be ready, and I am ready. Um, I don't doubt that. So it's just just business. We've got a really really big game on Thursday. We've got another one Sunday. So the the focus on on my behalf and and the group is is to to fully prepare for that. A reaction, um, absolutely a reaction. Obviously, Sunday was disappointing for us, and I would hope um, and expect that there is a reaction from from not only the players but from everyone in this building and everyone involved in the club as well. What did you make of that gesture of the players to reimburse the, the travelling fans? That yeah, I'm pleased because our fans are, are important to us. Um, we value them. We need them, um, and understand that. That relationship's probably wavered a little bit recently, but listen, there's no doubt that, that we need them, we want them on board, and hopefully Thursday they can, they can feel us. You've been in this position before, of course. How have you evolved in the time since that, that first spell? Yeah, I mean, from, from a personal point of view, probably just confirmation that, that I'm absolutely ready for, for this sort of situation. We handled it well two years ago. Um, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of things have happened in the last two years, but ultimately, from from my point of view, I, yeah, I feel I feel I feel fine. I feel ready in this situation. Antonio Conte said earlier in the season that he says the players didn't want to play under stress, under pressure to achieve what he wanted them to achieve. Have you seen that in, in this squad? No, I'm not going to get drawn into any comments in the past. Uh, my focus is on Thursday, is Sunday, and we've we've got six games towards the end of the season to to try and have a positive little run. Um, but one thing I will say is that I believe in this group, um, and I believe in this football club as well. Yeah, is it, is it, are they lacking a little bit of confidence? Is it as simple as that, or can they explain this as simple as that? No, I've been I've been involved in football long enough to know that things can turn around very quickly. Um, a result can change a lot. So, like I say, I believe in the group. Um, I believe in what what I will want to do and we, we will want to do. So, hopefully, we can transmit that to the pitch. No, for me personally, honestly, it's it's not about an individual. Um, in this moment, it's it's about it's about a group of players, the the staff that are involved, and the club as a whole. Um, the season's not over yet. We have six games, six important games as well. So, the focus isn't on any individual. It's on the group, and um, that's not going to change. Now, there's always talk when when you play for a club like this and you're involved in a club like this. There's there's going to be talk, but most importantly, we need to be we need to be close in the changing room in in this training centre. And if we're compact in here, then that will transfer onto the pitch. And um, the speculation is speculation. Ultimately, um, that's not going to affect us in in the changing room. Not from my point of view, no. Like I say, the focus is on inside here. Um, 
we're not gonna not gonna listen and look on the outside noise because there's going to be outside noise but we have to focus on our jobs and our jobs is to get results on the football pitch and my feeling is that comes from the training ground and and the training pitch as well so that's our only focus right now Hello. You know this club inside out as a player and as a coach. Is that the most challenging times you've ever experienced here at Spurs? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Obviously, from, from my point of view, I'm not thinking about all the challenges and the negatives. I, f I feel like we can, we can make a positive impact. Um, we've got a great game on Thursday to try and react and, and get back to winning ways as soon as possible. So... The feeling and the fault isn't on the whole situation. It's, it's, it's about how we're going to influence the players and get some positivity back, yeah. What type of reaction and mindset do you expect from the players tomorrow Yeah, a reaction because as a, as a professional, when, when you have a result like we did, you want a reaction. I expect one. Um, absolutely, I think that that takes care of itself as a, as a professional and, and you see with the gesture that the players done for the fans as well, we... Yeah, we were hurting, but ultimately that was that was a couple of days ago now and our focus is on Thursday and we're going to approach that with full belief that, that we can get a positive result. At home against the difficult position, what role will the fans and their support will have more? Yeah, obviously massive. It's our home and um, they, need to, they need to be with us, but at the same time we need to get them with us as well. So that's, that's our job as a group to make sure that, that we give them something to cheer about. What did you make of Monday United performance against Brighton on Sunday? What do you expect from them tomorrow? Yeah, two good teams. Obviously, they've, they've got their strengths. They've, they've had a relatively good se season. They've won a trophy, which is, which is important for, for any big club. So we understand it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a difficult match, but ultimately we're at home and we have full belief that, that we can get a positive result. It's only six points in the table, but what do you think is the real difference, the real gap at the moment between Spurs and Man United? No, I'm not thinking about that. We've got a game on Thursday and the only focus is on, on getting a result Thursday. This whole bigger picture, that's, that's irrelevant to me. Um, we've got a game to prepare for and we're going to do that to, to the best that we can. Thanks, Ian. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Hi. Yeah, um, good, thank you. you. surprised that two years after you did this first time around, we're back in this situation again? Nothing surprises me in football, honestly. Um, I've been in this game long enough. I've been, been coaching for, for the best part of six years now. So... These things happen in football. Um, you just have to be ready. You have to be prepared to to deal with it. And um, and like I said a minute ago, I'm I'm absolutely ready to deal with this situation. Ready for this situation. What about ready for doing it full time? Is this an opportunity for you again this time to say, right, I'm acting and coach now, but I, I want a job full time. Like fix the problems here full time. Yeah, honestly, for for me, I feel ready. Um, I know I'm ready. Um, if if that situation happens, it obviously means that we've done a good job. Um, but that's fast forward in four or five weeks' time. Um, like I say, the immediate thought is the game on Thursday and also we have a game on Sunday. So we've got a big week and we've also got a big five weeks before anyone in here even starts to think about that sort of situation. As someone who loves the club, how much have you been hurt by the last few days and people taking the mickey out of Spurs and in the situation they're now in? No, I'm hurt when we lose, um, like like our players and like, like our fans as well. Um, I don't listen to other people because because my opinion on, and our feeling inside is is the most important thing. And we know that, yeah, in recent weeks or, or months, I guess it hasn't sort of been good enough or, or what we would expect the level to be. But like I said, football can change very quickly, and we hope that we can put a performance in on Thursday to to get that. Absolutely, yeah, and I, I think that's where I feel fortunate. Yeah, I've been coaching six years, which I think is a long time. I spent a lot of time on the grass, but probably more importantly for me, the people that I've worked with and come across have accelerated my, my growth as an individual. And um, yeah, of course, there's, there's many people that <clears throat> sorry I trust and value their opinion in this training centre and also outside that I'm always in communication with. Will it be the rest of the season pretty or will you try and change things around? 
I think from my point of view at the moment, the the most important thing is to get some sort of energy, some sort of positivity back into to the group, but not only the group, the the fans and and the club um, have to be realistic as well. When you have two training sessions, um, three training sessions before two games, it's hard to to change a great deal. But I would hope and expect um, towards the end of the season that everyone, not only inside but outside, will we'll see my stamp or our stamp on, on the group. For the game on Thursday, we're still unsure. Um, obviously, had a muscle problem, so we're still seeing how that's settling down. But yeah, um, time will tell on that one. Thank you. And we're going to review them today. We've got training in the afternoon, so we're going to have to see them too today. Obviously, both of them have been out. Clem come come off in a game recently, and Ben's been out for a period of time. So, I think we'll have a better idea on that one after training today. Listen, I've been involved in this this football club a, a long time, and. <laughs> My belief is that, that our fans are, are amazing and one of the best in the world. So we want to get them on board. Um, we want to get them with us. And the only way to do that is, is to put in performances that warrant that. So um, we understand that and we know that. So um, I don't think there'll be any doubt that they'll be with us on Thursday night. Yeah, obviously it's only been, been a couple of days. We haven't been able to train a great deal, but... Like I touched upon, we're, we're hurting from that sort of result. So um, that, that one for me takes care of itself in terms of hopefully getting a reaction. Okay, it's time for a couple more, Charlie, then Robin, please. Right. You mentioned there about how ready you feel. Has it been difficult the last few games sort of being the kind of acting assistant, knowing that you're ready to do the role yourself? No, I've, I've always said that um, what this club feels best for me um, in this period of my, my career, I, I will do. And we felt that was best. The club felt that was best. So I was absolutely happy to, to do that. Um, obviously, it didn't go as we had all planned. But we're in this situation now where we can focus on the next six games and, and like I say, ho hopefully have a, have a positive impact on, on the rest of the season and um, set us up for next season. No, that, them sort of things, I think, stay in the changing rooms, stay on the training pitch. Um, that's how I want to manage the group. Um, that's how I want to approach it. And that type of thing stays stays in this training centre. Just, obviously, last time you had six league games as well, six league games this time. But this time around, you start, as you say, with United and Liverpool in a very short mm -hmm. space of time. Is this an even tougher ask than it was two years ago? I think it's a different situation. Obviously, we had a cup final that weekend that I took over last time. Um, Every situation is different, but like I say, we, we've got a period of time now we, where we can prepare as much as we can to try and get a result. And obviously when you have weeks leading into games, you can influence a little bit more. But at the moment, we understand the situation. We're realistic in, in what we can and can't do on the training pitch and how much we can put into them. So Thursdays, um, we're aware it's, it's a big game for us. Yeah, obviously, from from a club point of view, the situation we're in now is it's not where we wanted to be or expected to be at the start of the season. But ultimately, that's football. That happens sometimes, and we can't get caught up on things that have happened. Um, we we all understand that we have to finish this season well and strong and united as a group within this training ground, and um, that's my job ultimately to to do that. Uh, we'll end the broadcast section and then we'll move on to the embargo section uh, starting for 10 p.m. tonight. So.